Hello and welcome to the Florian Models Friday Catch-Up Show. Here we are with you on the 15th of December 2023. And I finished off my last model of the year or last full build of the year. Again, I've done 12 models this year. I've been absolutely flying through them and I have to write them down because I can't remember even what I've done. Uh, so it all started off beginning of the year. We did the F15, you might remember that one. Uh, then we did the diorama, which is going to be a Christmas special, which will appear with you over the Christmas period. It will be a free to watch one as well, so you can watch out for that one. Then we did the Tempest, which is really nice because obviously that goes along with the diorama. Uh, down in there. Then we did the D9R, the dozer, so great bit of work with that one. Uh, then we did the Beaufort, which was obviously the ICM uh, Beaufort, as you can see down in there. Then we did the huge big project of the year, which was obviously the Sea Harrier, and that was just mammoth build uh, right the way through. Uh, and then we finished up with a Viking. Now they're the full video builds. On top of that, we did lots of live builds as well. So we did the Hurricane. You might remember we did the Hobby Boss when it was new tool, uh, 48 scale Hurricanes, another version of that one that is available now. We did the Huey, uh, the little Rubicon uh, sort of uh, what, snap tight ish, but it's actually a proper kit. Huey, great little kit to be honest, highly recommend it. Then we did Blue Thunder, real blast from the past. So we did the old uh, monogram uh, Blue Thunder, Rebel uh, monogram Blue Thunder. Uh, then we did the Hasegawa Phantom, obviously for the recent um, Flory Fest, and uh, with the uh, what was it called? Uh, the Turkey Shoot, that's the one with that and then we finished off obviously with a hell diver i've also done the cl215 is finished but i still want to do it as a diorama so hopefully next year we get that one and finished off what i'll do with you next week is i'll get all the models out on here we're going to clear the entire desk and then i'll get them all out on display and we can see this year's work but it did finish off with this one and it is looking absolutely splendid or hopefully you agree it's looking absolutely splendid really nice classic it's probably one of the the last of the sort of monogram kits is obviously reboxed by Pro Modeler under the Rebel guys, but actually very, very nice indeed. It's a great kit, considering, it's, yeah, it's a little bit old, but it's actually got some really nice details. Obviously, it's all recessed right the way through. And what I love about this one, it's the first time I've ever done it, is to do it in the North Atlantic scheme which, you know, as much as I like the Pacific with the blues and all the rest of it, I think this one looks really, really nice in this particular scheme. It's a little bit tricky to hold this guy without uh, getting stabbed or breaking something. But you can say we did it down in here as well with the greys on there, that really worn down, horrible life that it would have had in the North Atlantic. So we've done that one as well. So it's been a great time finishing off these live builds and doing them live with you right the way through. So you would have seen this one come right the way through from opening the box to finishing it off as live builds as well. So very, very nice indeed. What I will do is get some proper photos of this one done and then hopefully by the time next week comes along, that'll all be finished and go off and see those. But if you want to see any of the live builds, just pop along to the live shows. You'll see me making my way through on those ones. A lot has been asked about, can I edit them? into being like full videos no it's just so much work because there's so much editing that would be required because obviously we're answering your questions we're talking about as we get builders we're going obviously normally i'm talking with the other guys or certainly with the mats when we're doing the actual fill and mat shows so it's going to be really really difficult it would take longer than it would be to build one uh, just to edit it. So from that point of view, they're always going to be sort of standalone videos, part of the live shows and things. But again, if you're at a loose end, maybe you've got a couple of hours, you want to have somebody here you're modeling along with you, highly recommend watching back our shows because as I say, they're great little bit of background noise as we're going on. And as you know, we never take ourselves too seriously on any of those shows. So um, you can have a little bit of fun watching us and going back through all of these ones. But if you do want to go back with them, just look on social media or pop over onto the Floyd Model site and you can see all of them which will be with you up there all right speaking of which so this week it would say it's a little bit slightly disjointed the way it actually went so it all started on tuesday with actually finishing off uh as you can see down in here we were doing the wait is oh it is muted already uh the actual hell diver and then matt was doing various bits and pieces carrying on with his tank uh, going through all the things about weathering and doing the internals and all stuff like that as we know and then I was going through if I can find it uh, about doing all the aerials so using in the old knitting elastic with this one gluing it all down in place and then going through the procedures about getting those ones in and the, obviously you guys give me a hand on where to place this because I couldn't find the locating hole for the wire coming into the cockpit uh, but with your aid, we managed to get that one done and we've got all of that in there. And as you can see, uh, we've got all of those a few little blobs for the PVA glue. And I've actually painted all of those ones in now. So there we go. That finished all that one off 
just standing there like that. So if you want to go back and see that show that was on Tuesday, it's just over an hour and a half. So if you want to catch up, answering all your questions and chatting and things like that as well. Got to thank you for all the people who've been doing super thanks with us as well. Really does make a difference. And as you say, pays for Matt's outing uh, with the guys, which I missed out on, but it's fine. But as you can see, there she is, all done down in there. So I did a couple of little bits just off camera just to finish that one along just like that. So again, if you want to go back and you want to see that one, just click down in here. As you can see, actually on the site, they're all down in here. And you can go back just through all of these just like this. All right. Wednesday was back with you with the actual PM show. Uh, and we're going through the motions on this one. Usual thing, what's happening, what's coming out. There's quite a lot of kit movement between now and Christmas, which bearing in mind, we've only got a week but we're hoping to have a lot of few things in on that one. All right. So again, watch out for your inboxes, members. You might be getting invoice before Christmas. You never know. Uh, but anyway, usual fun and games and laughter and everything else. So me, Matt and Andy talking about all the things that are going on at the PM store. We'll have a look at that at the end of the show. Also, I had up with you as the first reviews of this week. What I'm doing is the um, not quite the 12 days of Christmas, but the eight days of Christmas. So I've put up a review with you every single day from since Wednesday, right the way through up to the 22nd of December. I've got a brand new kit review up with you, all right? So starting off with the Lightning, lovely sword Lightning this one is. It's a really much an overlook kit. It is a little gem at the end of the day. You get photo etch, you get resin, you get a mask set in this, what's not to love, all right? So it's color photo etch as well for the cockpit. I'm gonna be building this one as part of our Easter live show series. We always do one for Easter, so I'm gonna be doing this for the Easter build. Uh, right the way through to sort of coincide with one like I did before. But it's a great kit, great marking. So you've got in the here the T4 and obviously the T5. You've got all the markings and decals for them, as you can see just down in here. Very nice CR2. And again, nice touch with these kits. You do get a mask set. Uh, which will help you out down there as well. And as you can see, a color photo etch set as well. So you've got all your things down in there for the instrument panel, harnesses, various things, ejector handles, all those bits that are really helpful, especially in the smaller scales, and that resin. So you get resin uh, nozzles for it, and you get two resin ejector seats that actually make a huge difference to the kit. Clear parts, they're not the clearest, shall we say, but if you're gonna have them open like I will, it'll be absolutely fine. The kit itself, yeah, you know, literally is on a par with the Airfix one. It is nice, it's crisp, it is sharp. Just could do with a little bit more sharpening up, to be honest, when you look at it. So what I tend to do is I always just run a scriber. Perhaps some of these wing ones are just a little bit softer than perhaps you might want in 70 seconds. So I find just popping a scriber and just rescribing some of these just to sharpen them up, not to give them any depth, just to crisp them up a little bit and uh, you'll be away and it'll be great. It'll work really well. But it's a beautiful little kit, very much overlooked. I do like sword stuff. Uh, they are slightly limited run, so there's no locating pins or anything else like that. But in some ways, to be honest, you don't really need them on the kit like that. It's really, really nice. So uh, definitely one to look out for. If you are a little bit of a lightning fanatic, uh, you'll be absolutely fine. So that was our first uh, review up of the actual uh, week down in there. Then we had the member show last night. Can't show you that because it's all locked away and everything. You do have to be a member to watch it. Obviously, we have a little bit more um, stronger conversation, shall we say, uh, down in there. But anyway, for everybody else, we had the next review up for was... To be honest, I bought this kit on a little bit of a whim. I was going through and I needed to make up the order to get free postage, so I stuck this in the old basket. And uh, it was one of those where I wasn't expecting much, and when I first looked at it, I didn't see much. But doing the full review and looking at it properly, you really get an insight into this. So what we got here is the Meng 48 scale, brand new tool J20, uh, which is their version of the old Stealth Fighter. All right, to be honest, it's actually not a bad kit. Uh, it's one of those ones, it's really surprising. I saw it like that and thought, ugh. Um, but actually, it's all right. It's a good, solid build by Meng, as you can see all the way through. Um, you know, it's none of this sort of, you know, little bits everywhere. It's good, chunky stuff. It goes together, it bolts together. I love the way it's got poly caps and things like that, which are going to be so much easier for putting the canards and the tailplanes on and things like that. And everything, ejector pin-wise, is all hidden away very, very well thought out of, all right? You even get a full pilot figure as well, which we don't see too much these days. You do get a little bit of photo itch as well for the harnesses and stuff as well. So actually, Actually, it's a very, very nice kit. You can get a boarding ladder with it. So again, nice. Decals, yeah, they're a little bit, you know, generic, shall we say. There's your photo etch. And again, nice touch with this particular kit is that you actually get a photo etch for the deck cord 
or you've got two canopies, which you'll see in a moment. Surface detail, I can't work out if it's right or wrong. I don't know this aircraft. I've never seen one, um, and I haven't seen any clear images of one either to know if that's correct or not. It does look a little bit overworked to me, but again, it could be just like that. I can't really comment, all right? But generally, it's got some nice surface detail. Structurally, as you can see, it's fully reinforced. There's no sink marks anywhere that I could see. And again, some nice textures on the underside, so I'm sure it must have textures like that because it's got texture parts and non-texture parts so again very nice to see generally though it's a good strong solid kit all the way through nice level of detail even like down here on the nozzles and things like that it's very very nicely done and again all the areas are nicely detailed where we've seen on all the other ones so certainly weapons bays as you can see down there you've got all the wiring and the bits and pieces in the weapons bays uh, and uh, the cockpit the rest of it's a little bit now nah. eject pins are pointing them out but honestly they're no problem at all they're very very shallow and to be honest you're never going to see them Here's the canopy. Highlight for this kit, you get two canopies. You've got the canopy with nothing, so you can put the photo etch and all the rest of it in there and do it yourself. Or you've got another one which actually scribed on the inside, so it's recessed detail. So you can just easily put a wash in there, wipe it away, and you've got deck cord in under 30 seconds. It's probably the easiest, the most simple way of doing it. But if you did want to do it the old way with the old uh, photo etch and conform it into shape and all the rest of it, you have got it. What's beautiful about all the men kits, and I haven't found a bad one yet, the clear parts are absolutely crystal. They are beautifully done, very, very nice right the way through but if you fancy something a little bit different i dubbed it in the review of being like firefox and uh, it definitely looks quite smart at the end of the day and i know i've seen the sort of feedback from you guys since it went up on youtube and i think everyone sort of sort of has the same opinion as me it's quite a smart looking aircraft at the end of the day so uh, something a little bit different but if you do fancy the uh, j20 obviously the review is up there and then you can go off and you can grab that one so and uh from there we need to come out of that so really that gets us bang up to today as i say because i'm up to date with all the builds what i'm doing is obviously part of the eight days of christmas we've got the fairy former review so the review is up with you right now you can go off and see that one and again looks to be a very very nice kit it's got some basic parts like the cockpit's incredibly basic and i think some of the wiring for the details for it are so fine it's going to be almost impossible to pick out all right but generally though it's got some nice touches what i do like is the wing fold because it's got the big box section that folds up so you can fold this thing up as you can see just down in here or you can do it wings out it's perfectly uh, up to you on that one all right some really nice markings as well something a little bit different including the venezuelan one as you can see but you do get a full mast set something that we've seen with trumpeter with all their kits recently is that we do get a full mast set and obviously with the clear parts of this being well lots of clear parts uh, a mast set is pretty much a must for it strange thing with this kit is though is that they've given it raised panel lines which at the time i thought was a little bit odd but i think they are trying to do the lapped panel system and that's what, how they've got around doing that one but generally though it's got recessed riveting all the way over it and the details on the kit sorry are very very nice indeed as you can see so if one's down there for the engine nice little bit of internal detail at the rear you've obviously got a box section makes up the cockpit walls at uh, the front but generally some nice textures on there you can see we've got very nice ones on there slide molded for the intake which is huge on that thing and then underneath and generally as you can see nice details right the way through with it uh, so yes but here we're talking about it the wiring it is so fine on here to show the wiring details I think it would almost be impossible to pick that out unless you are very very good with a brush um, what I would hope for uh, is somebody does a nice uh, sort of you know either photo etch or a uh, Quinter Studios type 3D decal system for it would be absolutely great how much you'll see of it though honestly I don't know it's going to be buried away quite nicely i would have thought but generally some really really nice details clear parts are uber clear crystal clear and again you get that mask set which is going to make masking this an absolute joy uh, and a pleasure to do so again you've got options down in there for that one but if you do fancy it uh kit review is up there right now we do have them in stock over at the pm store as well so if you want to grab some of those we have them in for immediate dispatch as well on there which is all very nice and there you have it. So really, it's a week all about reviews. So as you say before, we've got the reviews down here, some of the ones I'm going to do, some of the others still to come. So tomorrow, you've got this review up with you on Saturday. So this is going to be for the MiG-29K, uh, the brand new tool, 48 scale one by Hobby Boss. We haven't seen a 48 scale one by then. And to be honest, it's got to be better than the Academy one. And seeing as we can't seem to find the Great Hall Wall Hobbies ones anymore, 
very difficult to get a MiG-29. But anyway, this is the K. Yeah, it's the K, but we are expecting other versions of the MiG-29 family to come along. So it should be really nice. I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. I've got some other classic reviews coming for you. So I've got the old Matchbox Lysander, redone by uh, Ravel. It's coming up with you next week. I've also got this kit, which is something to look forward to. Uh, this is the vulnerable 148 scale Halifax. Yeah, so me and Matt are both planning on building some really horrible kits next year. So I've been lumbered with this one, and then Matt's got one that he's doing as well. So anyway, to be honest, it's not that bad. I quite like this kit. But anyway, 48 scale Halifax, what are you going to do? It's the only one out there. And of course, I've got some other reviews coming up for you. Like we've got the Gannet. Make the most of it. Be large to see of Airfix for a while. And uh, down in there, I've also got a Spitfire. I've also got the General Lee. And I've got a couple of other kits as well, which should be making their way out to you. So you're going to get a kit review on Saturday. You're going to get one on Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Until we finish on Friday night as well. So still plenty to come. Got some highlights for you next week. So obviously you've got me and Matt with the PM show. It'll be the last one of the year. That'll be up with you. And then obviously we've got the last PM show of the year as well. That'll be up with you next week. And then obviously we've got an open sort of you know, our Christmas party-esque thing. End of year show as well, which was free to watch. And that's going to be 7.30 on Thursday night as we go through. And I'll do a little personal recap with you on Friday of what we've been up to the week. And wish you all, a, obviously, a happy Christmas next week. So I'm, if you don't know, if you're not a member, having building work done, I'm going to have a digger outside this window. So hence, I'm doing all the reviews over the weekend, having it all pre-done, because the only time I do filming is at night. So Tuesday's show, for instance, won't be in the afternoon at three o'clock as always. It's going to be in the evening once the builders are out the way so uh, it should be working and doing things like that so still lots and lots to come but say so got all these great kit reviews following along this week and they say so i've got to do some work for next week as well for the sort of end of year shows so it'll give me a little bit of time to get all of those in order so as always we better pop over to the pm store we've got a couple of things going on down in there so we've got the hurricane in this is obviously the armor hobby a gorgeous 48 scale one back in stock again so this is the jubilee one that one is in with us right now so if you fancy getting one of those just at 39 pounds very nice indeed and the crocodile so this is the crocodile one with a tank behind it as in fuel tank uh because obviously for the flamethrower system so again we've got that one in with you as well this is a limited edition one so if you want to grab one of those you better grab it now the other thing we've got in as well is the 48 scale uh land rover as well the new one by tamia as well so if you want to get the austin one in as well that one is in the old katie uh, as well so if you want to get any of those ones grab them whilst you can all right plus the fact those other ones got in we've got the new we'll say new new back in because it's a, a re one uh, for the actual Phantom as well, very nice one. We've got the updated or the advanced kit as well for the Thunderbolts, the Apache you saw last week, and again, there's that former if you want to grab one of those. Something we have got in, and again, it's causing a little bit of controversy because nobody seems to know if this is a Mark III or Mark IV, because apparently it was only a Mark IV of these done. We've got down in here the Jack Panther, all right? So this is the long E version. Uh, and apparently it's something to do with wheels and sprockets and things like that. I don't understand it, but apparently that's what that is. But anyway, grab it, brand new out, new tool and all the rest of it. So if you want to grab that one by Hobby Boss, that is available for you right now as well. All right, so we've got some nice stuff down in there. There's that MIG and all the other ones we spoke about all on the other shows. Don't forget as well, we've actually got special offer sections being updated. Now, the Tamiya ones, these are the dual ones, so it comes with a vehicle with them. So as you say, you've got the 190, you've got the Thunderbolt, the Sturmoff, and then obviously we've got the Spitfire and the Hyann, and they all come with vehicles. Now, these are going to be limited, so they're only for a short time only. So if you want to grab any of those, and to be honest, not a bad price either on any of these ones. So if you want to grab them, grab them now before Christmas because they're not going to hang around long. And once they're gone, that's it. Apparently, these are a one and done with these. They're not going to be a stock item or anything else like that. So it's very, very limited with all of those. So if you do fancy them, I highly recommend grabbing them now whilst you can because we're not going to be able to get them back in i have been told all right so plenty of things down in there but usual thing as well we've got the b29s we've got a mig 27 we've got the gigant if you want something a little bit big even in 144 uh and obviously we've got the armor hobbies mark 2a uh down in, sorry mark 2b uh down in there as well because it's got bombs b for bombs that's how i know it uh in 70 second and the gorgeous little kefir as well so if you fancy the israeli kefir we've got that one down in there as well on specials it's probably going to get all changed out next week so I'd say if you want to grab any of that lot i would do as soon as you can otherwise it uh, it's going to be gone and when it's gone it's definitely gone 
And that is about it for this week. Say so good week, lots of reviews, plenty of stuff still to come for the run up to Christmas. So stick with us and you can count on us to bring you all this great stuff as we make our way through up until Christmas Day itself. As always on a Friday, I'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery. So until Monday, everybody, happy modelling. Take care. Falling like I'm wasted My heart grows heavy